and welcome to today's video. This video is a tutorial on how to make your microphone sound better. If you're using like an Apple microphone that comes with the earbuds, or even a blue mic, like a blue snowball or blue yeti, this simple tutorial will help you make your mic sound a lot better. So first of all, you're going to want to download Voice Meter, which you just look up Voice Meter, but I'll leave the link in the description to what you need to go to, and then you're on their page. If you scroll down a bit, you will see Download Now. This looks like an advert, but it's not. You just click it. And then it takes you to this page, and all you gotta do is download Voice Meter. Once Voice Meter is downloaded, you will be on a screen like this when you have opened it up. This may look very confusing, but trust me, it's not. It's just basic things. Wait, first of all, you're gonna want to set your hardware input into whatever microphone you use. Set on the WDM one. What you're gonna want to do is press the A on here. This may sound weird when you're listening to it but what that does is it plays back what you're saying into your headphones so you know what's changing when you're changing your settings this is a live app so you don't edit it in your editing of your video you can edit it during the recording so during my recording i can change it so or even louder but you're going to want to raise this until it is in the green bar area and not sounding too staticky i like to keep mine on around 4.8 or something around that because there's not much static in the background and your voice is quite loud on to the next stuff you're also going to want to click b which plays it out into the virtual out so that will be in your recording and stuff because if that's not selected i don't think it will have your voice in your recording which isn't good there's this square here where you can move this thing around and that changes your static and echo so if you have lots of echo in the background you can change that so set this to wherever it sounds good i like to keep mine around sort of low because then it makes it sound better because if i put it over here that sounds weird i keep this on zero because i don't know what happens when you change it and if i do change it i think it when i do change it it takes away my voice so i'll just say keep that on zero now this section here I think it's for your second hardware input, so say if you want to be using a bit of your headset and a bit of another headset, I don't know why, but you can add another thing to use. And I would also suggest keeping this in the middle, on the bottom. Now on to the next section. This is called the virtual input. You get to change the bass, the medium and the high. Muck around with that until your voice sounds good. These are my settings, you can copy them, but they might not be the same for your headset or microphone. On this next section, you're going to want to keep that in the middle, because that changes if it plays in both headphones or if it only plays in one, but you want to play it in both, because otherwise it won't sound good in the recording. On to this A and B, you're going to want to keep both of those ticked. I keep this on minus 0.2, I'm not really sure what that does, but it's called fader grain. I'm going to assume if there's graininess in your recording, it could take that out, I don't know though. On both of these, mine is set to mono. Once again, I don't know what that means, but those are my settings, and it seems to work well for me. Now on this one, I'm pretty certain that this changes how loud it is in each ear. So I could change this to the bottom, and then in your left ear, you wouldn't be able to hear anything, but in your right ear, you'd hear me how I am. And lastly, you're going to want to change your hardware out to your speakers, or wherever you play things out from. Also, before recording with this settings you want to go onto your recording software and change where your microphone is being used from since i used to put on my recording settings use microphone turtle beach p12 now i put use microphone voice meter because that includes all these settings and you can also change your voice during the recording or even if you're streaming and someone comments your voice is too loud or something like that you can just go on instead of restarting your stream you can go into voice meter and change that so it's very handy i think i'm going to end the video here if you have any questions comment it below and i'll try and help you out also while you're recording keep voice meter open or it won't use the voice meter settings i also do gaming videos on this channel so just check those out if you want to links are in the description see you next video